Hi everyone, I'm Mia. Who were the biggest bodybuilders of all time? The biggest bodybuilders of all time are enormous. Years of dedicated training, strict nutrition, and self-belief are all required to make monstrous gains. So, let's see who these behemoths are. Here's the biggest bodybuilders of all time. Number 10. Jean-Pierre Fox, the former Swiss IFBB pro exploded onto the international bodybuilding stage in 1996. His freakishly cartoon-like physique gained him a lot of attention, and he quickly became known as a force to be reckoned with in the sport of bodybuilding. He was competing against the likes of Dorian Yates and Paul Dillett, who were both mass monsters, and managed to place amongst the top eight in the 1996 and 1997 Mr. Olympia. Fox competed as a professional bodybuilder until 2001 until his career was cut short due to an infamous accident. Number 9. Nasser El Sambadi. The next beast on the list is Egyptian IFBB pro Nasser El Sambadi. Born October 15, 1965, Sambadi began his bodybuilding career in 1983, competing in his first competition in 1985. Sambadi made his debut appearance on the Mr. Olympia stage in 1994, placing seventh, and completed in approximately 53 IFBB pro shows throughout his career. He's known for wearing his trademark round spectacles during training and posing. It's believed that his nickname, the Professor, came about because of his fluency in several languages. During the off-season, Sambadi reached up to 330 pounds, trimming down to 279 pounds for competitions. Number 8. Zach Khan. Zach King Khan is an absolute beast and one of the most underrated bodybuilders in the sport. When you think about mass monsters, the usual names spring to mind, like Dorian Yates, Paul Dillett, and Ronnie Coleman, However, despite being lesser known, King Khan is just as freakish to look at. Zach earned his IFBB Pro status in 2009, but didn't make his professional debut until 2013 due to an injury. Unfortunately, that marked the first in a series of injuries for Khan, and we've not seen much of him on the pro circuit since. Still, he's easily earned his place on this list and is the eighth biggest bodybuilder of all time. Number 7. Marcus Arhol. Marcus Arhol began training when he was 18 after receiving medical advice from a doctor about a knee injury he got while playing football. After only five years of training, he competed in his first professional show and became known as one of the biggest mass monsters in the history of the sport. Roll competed in several Mr. Olympia competitions throughout his career, with a fifth-place finish in 2004 as his most notable achievement. He also won the 2000 Tonight of Champions and took third place at the 2003 Arnold Classic. Number 6. Paul Dillett. The sixth biggest bodybuilder of all time is Jurassic Park, otherwise known as Paul Dillett. The retired Canadian IFBB pro bodybuilder was one of the most impressive-looking bodybuilders you'll have ever seen. He made his pro debut at the Arnold Classic in 1993 and won the Night of Champions in 1999. Over his 20-year career, Dillett competed in five Mr. Olympia competitions, four Arnold Classics, three Knight of Champions, and three Iron Man Pros. His highest placing in the Olympia was in 1994, where he placed fourth overall. Dillard ballooned up to a whopping 330 pounds in the off-season, cutting down to an impressive 285 pounds to do battle. Number 5. Lou Ferrigno It can't be the biggest bodybuilders of all time list without the Incredible Hulk. Now can it? Lou Ferrigno is a former American IFBB pro bodybuilder who made his professional debut at the Napa Mr. Universe in 1972. He's competed in several competitions throughout his career, with some highlights including winning the IFBB Mr. America and IFBB Mr. Universe titles. After a successful career in the sport, Lou pursued a career in acting and was cast for his most famous role, The Hulk, in 1977. At a whopping 6.4 inch and weighing 285 pounds in contest shape, Ferrigno was a sight to be reckoned with in his heyday. 
so it's no surprise that he became the Incredible Hulk. Number 4. Gunter Schlierkamp German IFBB professional bodybuilder was born February 21,970. Now retired, Schlierkamp was a sight to behold at the pinnacle of his career, getting up to 330 pounds in the off-season. Gunter was one of the biggest bodybuilders of any era, and his physique was spectacular. The gentle giant, as he was known among fans, competed in bodybuilding from 1990 to 2006. His highest placing in the Olympia was in 2005, where he placed fourth. Number 3. Ronnie Coleman Eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman, is a retired professional IFBB bodybuilder from Monroe, Louisiana. After deciding to compete in bodybuilding because of a free gym membership, Big Ron is now widely regarded as one of, if not the greatest, bodybuilders of all time. After Dorian Yates, Coleman stepped bodybuilding up another notch and dominated the sport with his mass and size. Coleman had one of the biggest backs ever in the sport of bodybuilding, and his legs were unfathomable. When he retired from the sport in 2009, he held the record for the most wins as an IFBB professional, with 26 titles to his name. Number 2. Big Ramey The second biggest bodybuilder of all time is Mamda Elsba, a K. Big Ramey, born September 16, 1984. Egyptian IFBB professional bodybuilder Big Ramey won his pro card at the 2012 Amateur Olympia in Kuwait City, only three years after he started training. He made his professional debut at the New York Pro in 2013 and won the show. Since then, Ramey has competed in the top two major bodybuilding competitions, the Olympia and Arnold Classic, continuously winning the Arnold Classic Europe in 2017 and placing second at the 2017 Mr. Olympia. And boom! In 2020 and 2021, he won the Mr. Olympia contest. He's not called Big Ramey for no reason, as he's one of the only bodybuilders ever toto battle over 300 pounds. And the number one, Greg Kovacs. Gregory Kovacs was a Canadian IFBB professional bodybuilder who competed in bodybuilding from 1996 until he retired in 2005. Although Kovacs didn't have the best career in the sport, he's widely regarded as the biggest professional bodybuilder of all time from a competitive standpoint. His highest professional placing was at the 2000 for Arnold Classic, where he placed 13th overall. In the offseason, it's thought that Kovacs got up to around 420 pounds, which is double the weight of an average man. He was also 6 point per inch, and at his prime, had a 70-inch chest, 27-inch arms, and gigantic 35-inch legs. Greg Kovacs is the biggest bodybuilder of all time. What's your opinion about big guys? Feel free to comment. Don't forget to like video, subscribe to channel, and turn on notifications to be notified of new videos. I'm Mia. Thanks for watching. See you in the next top 10 videos.